Hi and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. This is Steve and in this video we're going to talk about how to take a screenshot of anything on your computer and then drop it into Photoshop to save it or edit it, crop it, whatever you want to do. And it seems like this should be so easy but for some reason you have to take an extra step and that's what I'm going to show you how to do. So as an example let's say we're watching this YouTube video of a Photoshop tutorial and we want to capture this moment. So what you do is you're going to hit the print screen button on your computer keyboard. If for some reason you don't have a print screen button, you might need to Google what your particular keyboard shortcut would be to do the print screen. But most of them will say like PRTSC for print screen. So you just hit that button and of course nothing happens, which is one of the kind of weird things about the feature. But you just have to trust that it did capture the screen and sometimes I'll push it twice to make sure I pushed it right. And then I'm going to go ahead and escape out of this video and I'm going to pop over into Photoshop and then in Photoshop you're going to edit your image. And it would be awesome if you could just right click and hit paste or hit control V to just paste it right into Photoshop but it won't work. So what you have to do is you have to go to file and new or on a PC you can hit Control N for a new image and then you're gonna create a new canvas basically and I have this it's 1920 by 1080 and so I can just click on that or you can use just your default Photoshop size or create your own custom one whatever you want to do but you can do your dimensions over here this is less important as just creating a canvas which is a blank canvas, and then hitting Control V and pasting your image in there. So now you have your image in Photoshop and you can see it's created a new layer with that image and if I hide that you can see what's happening there. I'm going to scroll out a little bit and change the background color a little bit so you can see it stand out a little bit more. Okay, so there's our image and then let's say I'm doing a tutorial or sending something to a coworker and I want them to see this little area in the layers menu and I want it to stand out then I could just go and grab a brush tool I'm gonna to change my color to red and grab a brush tool by hitting the B key and then I'm going to make it a little smaller by hitting my new favorite shortcut which is alt and right click on the mouse and hold it and to make it bigger you go to the right to make it smaller you go to the left and we're just gonna make a really small little brush like that and then release and you can circle what you're looking at there and then you would just export this or save it you know so if I wanted to export it just as a quick simple JPEG I would just go file export and I have the settings set up so it goes quick export as JPEG click on that I have to save it as something, we'll just call it bird, save, and now I have that saved on my computer and I can send it to somebody. Okay, but the, remember the important part is to hit the print screen button, then go to Photoshop and go to file and go to new, and then open a new clipboard or canvas. And then you can just control V and paste your image right into that canvas. Okay. That's how you do that. Thanks for watching. I hope that helped you a little bit if you've been struggling to do that. I know that I use this a lot personally, so I just wanted to share that little tip. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.